Good morning, everyone. This is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and I'm going to do a quick flip through of the two final fairy journals that I have completed. The first two were blue and purple, and then the third one here is red. It's got a little sash tie on the side. Got the fabric ruffle. There's some lace on the side to cover the binding. And it's just a sweet little red and white cover. The fabric has bees and flowers. Inside, there's a pocket. Um, I did, I couldn't help myself, I did ink some of the um, ephemera journal cards in this one just because it's red and I felt it needed it. So similar elements, this one I did a little bit different, um, but some elements are similar. This has a flip out page. This is some vintage wallpaper here. There's a pocket, tags, more pieces of ephemera, some writing space. This has pocket with some journaling pieces writing space, more writing space, brilliant vellum, here's more um, ephemera pieces to use as journaling cards with the pocket, here's a little belly band with a journaling card underneath, this flips out, plenty of journaling space, Another pocket piece. This flips out as well. This is a little envelope pocket, so there's journaling cards in there. This is the center, it's a one signature journal. Here's the other half with some journaling cards in it as well fabric flip. More journaling pieces and ephemera. Writing space. This is another flip out. Fairy. This is a little side tuck with a fairy postcard. This is just a little flip. You can tuck stuff up underneath it. Plenty more writing space to be used throughout. Here's a couple more journaling pieces and ephemera. A library card pocket with a library card and a playing card with a fairy. And then here's a few more journaling spaces. The other half of the flower flip out another fairy postcard that can be used as journaling space. And then there's a pocket here in the back and then the main pocket on the back piece with some journaling space and ephemera to be used throughout the journal as well. So that is the red one. And then the last one is pink. And I will have to say this one I kept soft, um, didn't do any inking. It has a little tie closure with some crochet trim. It's a pink floral cover with lace over the binding. I found a new way of doing the sewing and I prefer this method much better. So I didn't put any pockets because this looks pretty seamless. You could add pockets if you wanted. Here's a little flip out for journaling space that's just clipped on there. And then there's a tuck in the back with a little bookmark that can be wrote on or decorated. Tag to be decorated in a little fairy journal writing space. Around, this is also a flower flip. There's a little fussy cut fairy. This is a pocket with two pieces in. Another little pocket. 
This one was a much softer journal and it actually came together pretty quick compared to other ones. That red one really gave me a run for my money. Here's another writing space. This is a little um, glassine bag. It's tucked into. There's a pocket with some a tag that can be decorated or wrote on and also a journaling card. More writing space. There's a pocket on the back with another fairy postcard. Plenty of writing space in this one. Here's a library pocket. This just has a little piece of um, butterfly scrapbook paper on it. This has got journaling space. This is some vintage or older um, wrapping paper. And because it's weak, I put a little, um, or thin, not necessarily weak, but then I put some journaling space on it. This is the center of the signature. Same on the back side. Here's a little, um, I guess they're really kiss cut, um, fairy. There's a little flip there. This is the belly band and there's a journaling card underneath. Another little pocket. I put a little fairy piece in there that you could use throughout as well. Um, writing space, more tags. This is a little pocket with a little um, card catalog. More fairy notes. This is the fabric flip in this one. Plenty of writing space. Here's another little pocket with a tag that you can write on. Pocket here. This is a daily schedule and a to-do list. Little sheets. And then there's more writing space coming to the back. There's a pocket. There's a little guest check and another fairy um, postcard. And then that's it for this one. So this one... Um, I just kept simple. I think that some of the journaling is creating your own pieces, so I didn't want to overly decorate or add to your pieces of ephemera inside, tags and such, as you can either write on the whole piece or you can decorate them. I think that's, for me, um, part of the journaling process. So I leave those blank for you. But these two will also be uploaded this weekend with the other two to my Etsy shop at For the Love of Paper Co. And... Um, I hope this is the last of the journal, uh, fairy series. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe so you can see more things in the future. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.